Okay, folks, uh, here we are, December 18th. All right, Minneapolis's first home meet. First up is going to be Nathan Reed, a freshman, or sophomore. He's going to be wrestling Dylan Schumer, a freshman. Weight class 112, Rex Trahan, a freshman. He's going to be wrestling a sophomore from TMP. One, 119, Weston Penn. He's going to be open. Weight class 125 from Minneapolis, John Corman. Weight class 125, John Corman. He's going to be open. He won't wrestle his first round. Weight class 130, TMP is going to be open. And we have Dusty Greer. Greer. And TMP is open. So there's three opens in a row. Dylan Hackett, a junior. He's going to be wrestling a senior, a first time senior from TMP. Class 140, Sean 140, Sean Usru, a freshman. 145, Adam Klein. He's going to be wrestling. He's going to be wrestling up a weight so that he gets to wrestle rather than coach said rather than have give him an open. 152, Colin Trickle. He's going to be wrestling a freshman also. Collins, Collins are freshmen. Tate Omley. Awesome wrestler, kids fed wrestler. He's going to be wrestling a first time sophomore, John Kim. Minneapolis has no 171 pounder this match. 189, it'd be Jacob Klein, a senior. And he's gonna be wrestling a junior. Two fifteen, Andy Griffith. And he's gonna be wrestling a sophomore. Two eighty five. Connor Flagler. He's a freshman. He's going to be wrestling a junior tonight. Tonight you're going to see, uh, uh, I was talking to the head coach of TMP, uh, Eric Johnson, uh, a two-time state champ winner for Norton, Kansas. And I was talking to him a little bit, and he's finishing up his graduate in, in Hayes. I remember watching him wrestle. I uh, graduated in 2003, a uh, tough wrestler, and I was just talking to him for a little short time. and. He says he's got a lot of first-time kids uh, trying to rebuild his uh, TMP, try to get him to built up and, and ready to go. He uh, wasn't 100% sure whether he'd have any uh, state qualifier wrestlers this year or not. He says it was early yet, but he f hoped to have some. Um, he did say that uh, the 171-pounder, which we're not going to get to see tonight, Clint Taylor, he is a two-time state qualifier, so he's hoping for sure that he'd make it. He'd be there. So that's uh, basically what Coach Eric Johnson has in store for Coach Jeff Giles, who steps in for another year. Uh, Jeff had, I don't have enough time to tell you what he has to say about his boys. Uh, I guarantee you people it's all positive. Uh, that's one thing about Jeff, always has been positive. It's all about the it's all about the kids for Jeff. So first up here tonight, we're going to see Nathan Reed, a sophomore, and he's going to be wrestling Di Dalen Shoemaker. He's a freshman. Um, Coach Eric Johnson said that um, Dylan was a, a tough, hard wrestler. So uh, we're going to see what Nathan Reed has for him here tonight. I was talking to Coach, and Coach said he's just about at the 103 pound, and. Uh, he did uh, well out at Osborne, won his first match, and he's looking for an exciting time tonight here against TMP. First period, two minute period. You're gonna see him jockeying for position here. You can see Nathan get a 
Just shot in on. Kid takes Nathan down. Nathan down, two to nothing. Really good. He, uh, Coach, Coach Johnson said he was tough. And I'd say he probably is a little tough. <laughs> There he finally gets the two points and he's trying to roll Nathan, get some back points. He's got him pretty tight. Nathan has to roll through. He has to roll through to his belly. And he's doing that. He give up three back points, makes it five to nothing. Looks like Kid's gonna put him in a cradle here. Uh, Nathan's just fighting. He's got a minute left in the period. He gets three more back points. Yeah, I don't think uh, Coach Eric was uh, was giving me the full scoop on this kid. He did say he was tough, but uh, uh, he's a handful here for Nathan. Now, if Nathan can get his arm through, turn his hips, but now he's going to get in back points. He's going for the pin here. And he got it. So Nathan gives up a pin the first period, which puts as far as team points, uh, Minneapolis down 10 to nothing. Next up, gonna have Rex Trahan, a freshman. He's gonna be wrestling a sophomore. Coach told me, uh, Coach Johnson told me he was a returning letterman. Uh, of course, Coach really didn't want to say a whole lot. You see Rex working for a, a drag there, trying to get that leg. There he got the leg, he's inside the leg, outside the leg, gonna try to turn around. He's got it picked up, he steps through. And the TMP wrestler avoids the takedown. Rex shoots in. Rex turns around, takes him down. Now if you just stay on top, ride him out here for a little bit. Look, working for some back points here. Do a little tilt on him. He got to get his head tucked in. There you see he grabbed his head. He needs to get his head tucked down. Hopefully turn, turn to a half, get some back points here. And there he goes. He's, he's got to pull that arm tighter. Main thing is to stay on top, not to give up any points. Rex is ahead, two to nothing here. First period, 36 seconds left. TMP tries to stand up. To no avail, Rex has got a tight grip on him. Excellent roll through, counter there. Right on the line out there, you gotta be careful. Uh, that's when they like to turn on you. Ten seconds left here, he's gotta hold on to him, make sure he doesn't give up a point here in the first period. So Rex Trahan is going to go into the second period with a lead, two to nothing. Rex defers. That means he's going to get choice in the third period. TMP picks down. Rex didn't have any problem riding him. First period. Let's see if we can stay on him here. TMP stands straight up. Rex has got control of the arm though. Takes him right back down to the mat. Rex trying to work a move here. Let him stand up, then take him to his back. Rex just a freshman here. Wrestled kids fed though. His coach is looking for good things for him. 
This is his uh, actually his first varsity match tonight. And now he's getting that tilt. He's just got to get his knee in. Got to load it up a little better. Now the kid's stripping his hands off, and it's okay. Just let him go ahead and get. If he's going to let him get one, let him get one. Turn back into him, and Rex countered it by stepping over his legs. And now he's got a short Gramby. No points given. Rex did a great job. Now there he got one. TMP has got one, Got, but that's okay. So now all he's got to do is take him down, just like he did the first period. TMP shoots in. Rex sprawls hard. Got a cross face in there. Can't give it up. Working for out of bounds here. Working for out of bounds. And official says he didn't have control. Going to go back out to the center of the mat. Both up. 18 seconds left. Second period. Now they both shot in. The Rex is the only, there you see him shoot in. Rex is the only one that's turned it. He's got a, he's got a, Nine seconds left here. Okay. It's the end of the second period. Rex has a choice, and Rex chooses down. Now we'll see if Rex can get out of there. Scores two to one. Rex got to get off his hip. He's going to have to get him a point because it's two to one. If he gets it, if he gets him turned, it's going to be three to two. So Rex has got to work on a on a move to get out of there. And there you see him roll through, and he reversed him, and he's got a he's got he's out of position where he needs to get his two, and he did. And he, now he needs to keep him down because that puts him ahead four to one, or to ride him out for a minute twenty two. I don't think TMP is going to go for that. And you see him try to stand up, and Rex follows him right on out of bounds. Okay. Minute 16 left here in the third quarter. It's up to Rex to hold him down. Coach uh, Giles yelled at him to go ahead and let him up and take him back down. Let him up and take him back down. And he just keep hammering him that way. But he said, do not give him two. And it looks like Rex is doing that. Give him a little bit of uh, space and then take him down again. Now when I mean take him down, he's not, he's not losing control. It ain't a takedown, but he's controlling him by not letting him get away. So here you see him trying to build his base and Rex will probably let him stand, but. Okay. Okay, now there's a warning, uh, stalling for green. Now it's up to Rex to control it now. He's got a warning for stalling. So there you see him stand straight up. Rex keeps the leg. He hooks the leg. He's still got him. He's in, still in control. You see him reaching through, grabbing the opposite leg. Now Rex is going to give up two and try to return, reverse him. Main thing is he can't give up back any back points because it's four to three. He's got a, TMP's got a half in. Rex fights it off. We got seven seconds left. He's ahead by one. Exciting match here. It's up to Rex to stand up. Rex has to stand up to get, it's over. Rex ends up winning by one point. A freshman, so, uh, that's good for Coach Giles. <laughs> Next up would be Weston Penn at a 119. And he will have nobody to wrestle. He'll just get his hand raised out in the middle of the match. Next up would be John Corman at 125. And he's going to get his hand raised because and TMP is open. 
Next up is Dusty Greer at 130, and he's gonna get his hand raised because they have nobody to wrestle. Coach Eric Johnson said that they were, only had 11 kids out and he was able to keep all 11, and so that's good, uh, but he's starting. Uh, so that, that main total put it up, uh, as far as points, uh, team points, it's 21 to six. So now we got Dylan Hackett at 135, a junior. Last coach told me last year at JV, he was 22 and four. Took it second out at uh, Osborne, so he says he's going to see an interesting match here. He really likes to uh, use the legs, and Coach said uh, that's always uh, tough when a kid uses his legs. So we're going to see Dylan, uh, see what Dylan has. You see him do a sweep there, got in, got the leg. No, I'm sorry about that. Didn't quite get to finish the takedown. Um, Dylan is wrestling, he got a headgear problem, but Dylan is wrestling a first-time senior, according to Eric Johnson, Coach Johnson from TMP, first, first year of wrestling, a senior. So you know the kid's going to be kind of scrappy. So this will be a good match for Dylan. Dylan shoots in, gets in really deep. He's just to finish it. See the strength of the other kid. He's trying to put a whizzer in. Dylan just uses his hips, picks him up, steps over. He hasn't cleared it yet. If he can just pop his head out, he'll get his two points. Well, there he popped his head out. He got his two points. So Dylan's ahead with a takedown, two to nothing. One minute left here in the first period. Now you see, uh, see, look at him put them legs in. And now he's gonna try to pull his arms out. And I see him work that head. He's gonna try to turn him. Coach said it's been a while since he had a kid wrestle legs as mu this much. So now you see him tuck that arm under and he's gonna pull it back. And he's gonna hope to get back points with it. And there it is, you see the back points. Pretty strong kid. Uh, step. He just gotta stay on him. He's gonna try to get his other leg inside. Get his right arm back and pin him back and say he's let go of it. But um, um, officials got three back points getting ready. He's in the same move. Uh, Dylan's got control here if he can pin him. He's so close, but time runs out and he only gets three back points out of all that work. But uh, uh, really good if he'd have broke that move and just relax for a little bit and then went into the next move, he'd have gotten six points, but that's good. Uh, uh, Dylan is uh, one of those kids who uh, uh, hasn't wrestled a whole lot, but the more he wrestles, the better he looks. And, and uh, as a junior, he's ready to go. I think this year he's gonna make a statement for Coach Giles. I know he's a hard worker. Now we'll see what uh, Dylan does on the bottom here. Got a warning on TMP. Uh, he crossed the line uh, in the stance. And we'll see what Dylan does on the bottom. Right away, he tries to do a set out. Now he's trying to do a stand up. He's got the head. All he's got to do is come around behind. But TMP has his head in a chokehold, and it's illegal. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> that's a chokehold. <laughs> and Dylan's going to get one point for that. So that makes it six to nothing. Okay, Dylan hit, he hit two moves there. He's got his head down, he needs to stand up, explode. Now he needs to finish that. Tried to get his arm cleared, couldn't quite get it there. There he's in, doing a, a switch right here. Excellent switch. Don't see that very often, but uh, it looks like he's the guy who's got it. That was a, a great a great position on a switch. Now you see he's got those legs legs in again. And you can see him work that arm in the back of his head. And he's trying and he's real close here. It's it's hard to pin him that way. He's about gotta let him go through. 
You see him squeezing the legs. He's got the same hold. Okay, now you see the official give him three, so he let go. Now you can work it again, but he needs the kid to st set up. And the kid's not operating or cooperating much. He's just kind of laying there right now, so Dylan's going to make his own move. And you see Dylan working him around. He's got another move. Dylan working for a, a pin, and he got it. Uh, you don't see that very often, getting a pin in that position, but he, Dylan Hackett did it. Very good job for Dylan. There you saw uh, Sean Usurig, Usri, a freshman, uh, get his arm raised. Uh, TMP has another open. Up now is 145 pound, Adam Klein. He, Adam is a junior, 145 pound. He's also wrestling a junior. Coach uh, Johnson said he was a return letterman. So uh, should have a good little match here. Adam's just tough. That's what Coach Giles said. And he says that about everybody. Uh, his boys have good worth ethics. They work hard. I've seen him running in the halls. You see a bad, sh you see a bad shot. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, that was hard to explain, but that was a bad shot by the TMP. TMP and Adam. Adam was able to counter it and was able to finish the takedown. I know you didn't see that, but trust me, Adam's on top. We'll see what happens here. You see the TMP Val uh, wrestler with his head on the mat. That's a good place for it. That's exactly where Adam like it. That way he can run this move right here. Most of the times they won't let you do that. Uh, TMP, kid's a, a strong wrestler. You see him stand up, try to do a switch there. Now you see him try to hit another one, but Adam's right on his hips. He's got, I see Adam's got that leg hooked and he, he's not going very far. 43 seconds left here in the first period, two to nothing. Adam climbs ahead. Coach Giles said he took, uh, there you see, uh, that's a tilt. And he did, ah, referee says he did not get any back points. If he could have held him there a little bit longer, he could have got that. You see him still working on that tilt. That's something Coach Giles likes to uh, teach his, his kids. Uh, 16 seconds left here, two to nothing. Adam's ahead. Two juniors wrestling there. You see him roll through it. Main thing here is six seconds. Adam not give up anything. Hold tight. So we'll go into the second period. Adam gets a choice and he defers. TMP looks over his coach and coach says down. Two juniors here. Adam Klein, 145. Second period, two to nothing. A close match. Now somebody's got to do something. There you see TMP stand up. Adam just lets him break. Gives up the one point, two to one. Adam evidently feels like he can take him down like he did the first period. Shoots, shoots a long single leg takedown, picks him up, 
Looks like the uh, TMP kid wants to counter him. The uh, official hasn't awarded anything yet, and, and he shouldn't until he pops his head out. Adam gets his head out of there. And then he'll get two for the takedown, and he'll go right into some back points. Very good move. Right into some back points there. He could get a pin here. It is close. Plenty of time, 50 seconds up, but he lets it up. Whoa. Okay, still in the second period, one minute left. Seven to two, Adam Klein is ahead. Adam has gotten both takedowns. A long shot by Adam, long shot. The TMP kid's trying to do a drag and Adam's helmet falls off again. And they're gonna tape, tape that up. That's it for that. I'm going to take a little break. Okay, back here wrestling again. Got Adam's headgear taped on. Referee uh, Mark Hewitt said, uh, not going to have that happen to you. Now you see him take a single. Oh. Adam could have switched to a double there real easy. Got an easy takedown. That time he didn't go for the far leg. He went for the inside leg, which is a lot better. TMP shoots, not a very good job. Adam goes around and covers, gives him two more points, makes the score nine to two. Five seconds left, most important. Adam sets and rides, doesn't give up any points. And we're gonna go into the third period. Two juniors here, neither one of them wanna give. And uh, just a little bit to me, uh, the TMP kid, uh, a little rough there. One time, it almost looked like he took a swing at Adam. Uh, you see Adam try to do a stand-up, and the kid's got locked hands, and the uh, referee didn't see it. But uh, he's trying to get legs put in there. And I'm sure he wrestles with uh, uh, Dylan a lot, so he probably knows how to get out of that. And he does. Oh, I'm sorry. Adam's going for a, uh, an escape. Now Adam's got to be tough here, not to give up that back. Kid's going for the double chicken wing. He's got one wing, but Dusty, or Adam is doing a good job holding him off. Coach Giles yelling at him, stand up. He does a stand up, gets, Gets his two, gets his one escape, and then he gets a two takedown. Adams just uh, beating this kid bad, 11 to two. Now is where he wants it to be control. Run a move, he's got 50 seconds to set up a move. Get some more back points, helps the team and team points. Gotta be working something here. And it's hard to do when, uh, when the other kid don't wanna wrestle. And they just lay there. Now he's letting him come up, build his base so that he can get a leg in there. And there you see, as soon as he comes up, Adam throws a cross face in, tries to get that opposite arm, try to get him on his back. And there you go, and he keeps driving him. 14 seconds left, third period. 11 to two is the score. Adam, uh, total control here. A little bit of a flurry there at the end and by a TMP kid. Come back to the middle of the match. Two seconds left. You got a caution green. Just didn't mount him properly. Two seconds left here, third period. Kid tries to roll through it. And that's the end of that match. Adam Klein, the winner.
Next up, 152 pound Colin Trickle, a freshman. I hope I say your name right, Colin. He's a freshman, going to be wrestling a freshman, Scott Hyman. Coach Johnson didn't have anything to say about him. So uh, Coach Giles said uh, this is Colin's first, first time wrestling and uh, said he's a hard worker. Didn't have any kids fed uh, background. And so coach, coach said he likes those. He can get in and teach him and teach him what he wants. Now you see the TMP shoots in, gets to double leg. Collins trying to fight it off and he's doing a good job at it. He's getting close to the out of bounds line. And he did an excellent job, folks. He's sprawling hard. He's gonna end up getting the, the takedown. Nice move, and Colin just didn't give up. That was very good. Excellent, uh, not not giving up attitude. That was very good by Colin Trickle. Now he's just got to work a move on him. You see the strength of Colin. Being able to pick the kid straight up and bring him back down to the mat. Got to be careful with that so that uh, you don't slam the kid and get a penalty point. There you see he's got a cradle on. Holland's got a cr uh, cross face cradle. He's got to get the knee in the side. Now he's got to pull him back now. Just got to pull him straight back. He's just got to slide out and pull back. Pull him straight back. There he goes. Oh, right at the buzzer. Right at the buzzer. Colin Trickle looks at Coach and he says, uh, go bottom. So Colin's going down. Two to one, second period. Well, this is the first uh, match for a lot of kids and, and having an official out there and, and not having the uh, one thing you never do is reach around behind. That's the worst thing you could do. Uh, allowed TMP to get two uh, two points, which puts him in the lead now, three to two. Uh, Collins knew he'll learn that. Uh, never reach behind. Uh, when you're on the bottom, there's only one thing coach wants you to do, and that's stand up. Now you see a TMP working Collins to his back. Collins fighting it off. And Colin gets pinned in the second period. Two freshmen there. They'll probably see each other a lot more times throughout the years. Next up, 160 pound. Uh, coach has a lot of lot to say about this kid, uh, Tate Omley. He's going to be wrestling uh, a first-time wrestler, a sophomore, John Kim. Um, this Omley kid has been a state state champion five times in kids. So we'll uh, we'll see here what he does uh, to Mr. Kim tonight. 160 pounds. Right away, Tate, uh, the kid's standing straight up. I was going to say, easy takedown. Tate gets the takedown. Goes right to a half. Probably going to be a pretty quick pin here. Yeah, I think so. He's got his head picked up tight here. 
Keeps working him around the circle. The TMP cat kid is tough. And then Tate, Tate needs to just suck down a little bit. Get a little more chest to chest. But he got the pin anyway. 122 left in the first period. Tate only wins by a pin. Next up for uh, Minneapolis is going to be open. As of this match, we don't have 171 pounder. So the TMP, uh, TMP wrestler will go out there and get his hand raised. I was hoping to get to see him wrestler. Um, Eric Johnson said he's a two-time state qualifier. Last year at 50, 152 pounds, so it would have been nice to see him wrestle. Next up, we got 189 pounds. We got Jacob Klein. He's a senior. He took second out at Osborne last week. He's going to be wrestling a junior, Preston Worth. Coach Johnson said he was a returning letterman. Jacob Klein shoots in there. The other kid's wizarding back. Hasn't got it yet. Neither one. Both up yet. No points given. Jacob shoots in. And right away, that kid counters him. Jacob's going to have to try something else here. 189 pounds here. Big, solid kid. 4 TMP. Team points, Minneapolis 43, TMP 18. There you see the head snap. But Jacob bounces back. Jacob shoots in, gets a single, and he's wizarding him back, but he gets a two. Now Jacob just needs to ride him here. TMP gets one point, escape. Time for Jake to take him down again. Working for position, 43 seconds left here. Jacob ahead, two to one. Jake shoots in, had to double, went to a single. He comes back out out of it. Getting in deep, just needs to finish it. I believe the other kid's uh, tough. Now there, the kid TMP shoots in. Jake starts to sprawl, the kid gives up on it. There you see TMP tries to shoot right at the line. Good move there. Jake's got to be quick here. Nine seconds. Make sure nothing happens here. No takedown. There you go, Jake. That's the way to get one. Get in there and shoot. TMP, TMP takes down. Let's see if Jacob can ride him here. Jake's a little high on the head. Just gotta make sure he gets, he can get back around. TMP shoots in, gets a double, takes him down right on the line. Jacob just not quick enough there. TMP popped him up and shot in right on the line. So now they're going to go back to the center. One minute left. 119 left, second period. Jacob builds his base, getting his head up, trying to stand up. TMP is trying to run a far half. 
Jacob pulls it off. TMP gets a leg in. Jacob sheds it off. Jacob just needs to stand up. TMP lets him go. Three to four. Jake's down. Three to four. 41 seconds left. Here's where Jake needs to get him a takedown. 36 seconds left. Jake tries to do an arm drag. TMP had nothing to do with that. Both of them working for position. 15 seconds left. Second period. It's going to all come down to the third and final period. 11 seconds left. Quick takedown by Jake would be nice. Both of them working the arms. There, TMP shoots in. But right at the buzzer and gets nothing, just too late. Jake's got to be a little quicker on his feet. Coach Child's talking to him, telling him what he wants him to do. He said sweeps and drags. Jacob tries to do a set out, and TMP lets him go. Tie score, four to four. So we're gonna see a little pummeling here, probably at least a minute. Oh, Jake shoots in right away. Jake just turns him. They both were trying to do a power drive. And uh, Jacob ended up getting three back points. And a takedown puts him ahead nine to four. They both were trying to do a, a, a man hugger and, and muscle each one, and they rolled through, and Jacob ended up on top very quick on his feet, and there you see Jacob letting him go. Now it's up to the, up to the TMP boy to, to uh, pick up the space. He's down nine to five now. So uh, TMP is going to have to shoot in, but he's standing straight up if Jake wanted to. Uh, when he walks into him like that, he should just go in and take his legs right out from under, just like there. He stands there. Jacob needs to sprawl hard, and he did. Cross face hard. Not give him any points. Jake reaches around, try to get the ankle. Try not to give up the two points here. TMP driving him out to the out of bounds line. It's 36 seconds left here, third period. Jacob ahead, nine to five. Jacob, TMP has to come up. Nobody got any points. TMP, if he'd have just followed on through with that, he'd have got his uh, takedown, but he didn't. Uh, I think he's kind of out of gas, myself. Uh, Jacob's uh, applying the pressure. TMP goes for a headlock. Jacob says, no way, six seconds left, and he gets a takedown. Excellent wrestling there by Jake Klein, 189 pounder. Very good job. Definitely not out of gas for Jacob Klein. Next up, 215 pound, we got Andy Griffin, a senior. Coach Johnson said uh, his 215 pounder is a first time wrestler, a sophomore. Uh, Andy took uh, third out at Osborne last weekend. And uh, we'll see here what Andy has for his wrestler. Team, team score, 46-18. Andy's working on the arm. Kid stands straight up. Andy has good position. He's got them big, strong legs under him. And he's trying to pummel, he's working a pummel, try to get in close. And he reaches in, gets a single. You don't see that very often. Excellent job there, takedown. Right away, Andy takes him down. Don't know these kids that well. I didn't get to see him wrestle last year. Yeah, one time. Right. And uh, looks like Coach Giles got another good year here coming up. 
see Andy working that arm bar. He can come out to the side, get that arm back, tie it up. Now he's going to shoot, go for a hand, try to roll him over. He just needs to pull him over. Well, he had it. Allows the kid to stand up. Jake takes him right back down. He goes right to his back. And he's uh, and he's got him right to his back. Just needs to salt and flatten out. Try to get his arm behind him. Get that head picked up. 37 seconds. He's got plenty of time to get that done. There he is, flat on his back, right there. That's a pin. Good job. Good job for Andy Griffith. Next up, 285 pounds. Got Connor Flegler. He's a freshman. And uh, according to Coach Johnson, this 285 pounder is a returner letterman, a junior. Uh, very tall kid. And ready to go. Now these are called heavyweights. Connor's in a headlock. And he snuck out of it. Good job by Connor. That's the difference between a freshman and a junior. See him slapping around at the head. Connor's got to be careful backing up. He's got to move more side to side than backing around. Heavyweights, one thing without heavyweights, you never know until it's over. Uh, without a doubt, Connor is uh, definitely uh, undersized. He's there, you see him got a bear hug in. Connor fights that off. TMP has his back now and he gets a takedown. Connor's on his back. Connor needs to build his base, uh, and that's easy for me to say. Uh, I don't have 285 pounds on top of me, and I bet he's, uh, I bet he's pretty close to pushing that too. Connor, just a freshman, he rolls the wrong way, and he's right on his back, right on the line. He needs to scoot out of bounds. He needs to come on out of bounds. He needs to know where he's at and come on out of bounds. He's doing a good job fighting it. Uh, the kid, uh, TMP kid, has his hands underneath him. And, and when you have your hands under it like that, you can't pin the kid. And there he uh, ends up moving his hands and he gets Connor on his back. And, and uh, Connor's going to be a good wrestler. He's just a freshman, uh, without a doubt. Um, definitely oversized. That's a big TMP kid, without a doubt. Well, folks, that's it for the first half of the double duel. Uh, wrestling TMP and we'll be back uh, in a short